Hey guys, I'm Viper, and um, welcome to a brand new video. Now, um, as you'll see, as you can see to my right, there is a big box here. And as you can see from the title, you already know what it is that I'll be unboxing today. Now, I last did an unboxing video. Apologies, I sound a bit bad, I've literally just got up, so postman's just arrived for this. Thought I'd open it as soon as I could. Um, so, um, but yeah, regarding this, uh, this is like, it's... A game that's only just been released, it released a few days ago for a lot of people, like a lot of people got the early copies of the game. Uh, the online wasn't exactly working, you already know what it is by now. Um, and again, from the title, rather obvious. Uh, I've already done a unboxing before this, and that was the Dirt Rally Huge Crate unboxing that I did like six months, seven months ago. Um, and obviously this one, quite special, I've been planning this since... I saw it get released, as I released, um, since I saw it been unveiled uh, this year at E3. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Now, I'm going to use this to open this. So, fingers crossed we can actually get it nice and quick. So, like I said, this game has released, this is the sequel to a game which I thought was quite decent the first time around. Although a lot of people seem to think otherwise. Um, just for precautious reasons, I am actually going to try my best to hide the address of my house that is on the other side. If I don't end up doing that, then people might not go and it, so. Right, so we've got that side done. We've got that open. Right, okay, so that's going upside down. That's a good thing. Just going to chuck that over there. Let's flip it over, and there we go. So as you can see, it is Watch Dogs 2 San Francisco edition on the Xbox One. Uh, obviously, it is out on PS4, and I believe they released the, the uh, San Francisco edition on PC as well. This actually cost me in pounds. This was 80 pounds. Yes, okay. Blah, blah, blah. Waste of money. Biggest edition. Blah, blah, blah. But it wouldn't be the first time I've done this, uh, I must say. I've done, like... Like I've paid more, I think I paid about, to be honest, I think I paid the same amount as when I bought the original Watch Dogs, which is how I've got the Aiden Pierce figure, which is over there. Uh, I bought, that one was the Dead Sec Edition, and I think that was something like £90 or, it might have been the same price, I'm not so sure. I think that was £80, I'm not sure though. After, I can't remember. Um, right, so we've unboxed it nice and shiny, as you can see we've got the main protagonist there. On the back, you can see we've got the main uh, the main bits. So it includes a model of the main character, which I believe is called Marcus. Can't remember his last name though. Uh, we've got lithographs, a map, uh, laptop stickers, a load of in-game content. Obviously, it tells you about the game on the back. Um, and this actually looks absolutely. I mean, even for artwork, you know, on the side of the box, that looks absolutely stunning. Just in case you didn't know, the game is based in San Francisco, so. Take that cover off first, which is only like a cardboard co cover. Uh, that's the first thing. Right, so this looks like it opens up like a box. It does, actually. So if I do this, wait for it. Ta da! And immediately we're greeted by the figure of Marcus. And it looks like it's just, the box is just that. But then again, one minute. After a bit of argy bargy, they finally got the figurine out, and there you go. There is Marcus. Now you can probably just stop to see him. I will bring him closer, but unfortunately, the camera won't focus. I've had a bit of problems with the camera lately with focusing on stuff, so as you can see there on the back, you can only you can probably got to see it from me, but on the back, it actually says Dead Sec on the phone. Um, very nice mask. Uh, I, I think, to be honest, I mean, Wrench is the main character in the game. For this year's game, uh, for this one. However, the one character that sticks out is you may have seen Matt dress up as it for Play Expo. Uh, he dressed up as Wrench, and Wrench looks badass. He's like proper insane. He's crazy. Um, so because so, all right. So since let me put it this way, what I've got now, as you can see, just opened up at the bottom here, uh, like a little drawer. So we've got the Zodiac Killer Missions, which I won't flip over because that's actually got the code on it. But that's got the, 
uh, what's it say? Uh, you get a urban prison outfit. So that's pretty neat, I suppose. Uh, these are all bonus items, by the way. So you got the main game itself, so Watch Dogs 2, Rated 18, blah blah blah, Ubisoft, Xbox One. That's the main game, obviously. It looks like we've got something in there. We've got, that's our laptop stickers, which look pretty sweet. I mean, I have a laptop, but I think these are my last going on my desktop computer. Because, let's be honest, probably not my thing, laptop stickers. I don't really buy laptop stickers, so. Uh, and then finally, Watch Dogs 2, Map of San Francisco, which I presume, if I stretch it out, which I is going to be quite big, so bear with me, just hope I don't really damage the damn thing. Or rip it in any way. Yep, yeah, so, God, this is actually a pretty big map. So, that is San Francisco. That's the whole other, that's the game map, by the way, not actually real life. There's more than just that. Um, probably the best example of San Francisco um, would be in this modern day and age. I mean, for showing off certain parts, it only shows a certain chunk. There's three games that I know that I've played that have got the San Francisco City in them. You've got Watch Dogs 2, which has been released. That's got the best quality of any any other any other game in terms of showing San Francisco. Then you've got Driver San Francisco, and you've got the crew. Now, in Driver San Francisco, that's actually the whole map um, of San Francisco. A bit more than this, I think, or it might be about the same. And then with the crew. Again, that's different because it's got like the, the whole map of the US, so you know you can go literally anywhere, so which is pretty incredible. Right, so if we close that up, so that is literally it in terms of that. That's it's literally an empty box after that. So if I close that, it's still got a nice box to hold on to, which is nice. Um, and now we've got, as you can see on the back, it says Watch Dogs 2 on the front. So I can presume there's something neat in this. And we've got, the looks of it, yeah, some like, are they postcards? No, 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 they could be used for postcards, I suppose. Some Watch Dogs 2, uh, I'll, I'll call them postcards, they look like it anyway. So we've got Marcus there, looking quite anonymous, I say anonymous, but quite evil. Then again, with the glasses and the mask, you probably could recognise who he actually was. Then we've got an overdrop of San Francisco at dusk. Uh, the Golden Gate Bridge in the background, which is a very, very long bridge. We've actually been over that. Quite a long bridge. And finally, the Dead Set Rebels on top of like a skyscraper. I think that's a crane. But very nice images, all three of them. I don't think there's anything else than that, no. And that looks to be about it. So, quickly going over what we've got. Like I said, we've got like the uh, three postcard things that are in there. You've got the map. Which is the big map of San Francisco. You've got the laptop stickers. You've got the actual game itself, so this can chase depending on the console that you've got. And finally, you've got the Zodiac Kill mission. And last but not least, you've got the lovely model <laughs> uh, of Marcus. So that's very, very nice. And also, that's going to change from now on because this model is going to need the cock. So yeah, that's the thing. things are going to change. So anyway, that's been all from me. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed today's video. Apologize for my voice. Like I said, I've only just got up, so I'm getting used to it. <coughs> there we go. And um, yeah, on that note, I will see you guys in my next video. So until next time, I've been Vibrating. You guys have been awesome watching. Make sure to leave a like if you did enjoy. And also make sure to subscribe if you're new. And uh, until next time, I'll see you guys in my next video. Ta-ra!